Welcome in week 2. In week 1, we completed introduction to fitness variables and acute training variable topics. In week 2, we will be covering principles of training and periodization in sports training. Let's begin with lecture 1, principles of fitness training 1. Objective of lecture 1 is to be familiarized with the fundamental principles of training. Here, you would be av made aware of and introduced to the very basic and fundamental principles of training based on which you would be planning your entire program. Then, the second objective is to recall acute training variable principles which we covered in week 1. The third objective is to know general adaptive syndrome principle. The outcome of lecture 1 is to recall different principles of training and to describe gas principle. Now let's begin with familiarization with different training principles. Training principles include acute training variable principles, overload progressive principle, gas principle, stimulation recovery adaptation principle, fitness fatigue principle. Now these are the general fitness training principles that you would use and you would need to know in order to design an effective and safe program for yourself. Now this fitness principles have been sequenced in such a way that one fitness variable would be applied to the second principle uh, in the second principles. Let's begin with acute training variable principle and gas principle in this lecture. Now recall the acute training fitness variable that we covered in lecture 3. So acute training variables are frequency, intensity, type, time, volume and progression. The end application of these principles include describing your weekly workout routines as well as writing an exercise prescription for a weekly basis or on a workout bout basis. As seen in the example week 1, an exercise prescription is given for an entire week which describes as power training for lower body, you are going to train two times a week and the type of power is starting strength and the volume of the exercise is three sets and every set would be of four repetition and the intensity you are going to do the power exercise is at greater than 1.5 meter per second. Now this is an example of how you can use acute training variable to start with. Now let's go with general adaptive syndrome principle. Now whenever you start a fitness routine, you have a baseline, a baseline of fitness level. Your obvious aim to undergo a fitness training regime is to create a new baseline. So let's see how a body responses whenever you do a fitness training routine. This is a general response of a body when you undergo a fitness training routine. The wave include Whenever you start a stimulation, you go with decline in the fitness level and the wave then again come up above the baseline and you get a new baseline. When you give another stimulation, the same response is repeated. Your fitness level drops, it goes up and it goes above the baseline to create a new baseline, baseline number 2. Continuing this way, you can see that you have a linear progression of getting a new fitness level over the period of time. Now this wave like responses has been described into phases. The phase one where your fitness level drops below the baseline after starting a fitness routine or giving a stimulation is called an alarm phase. The phase where the wave goes from down to upward direction is called a resistance phase. In alarm phase, an obvious drop in fitness level happens. 
So this is marked by you getting a little more fatigue or tired or muscle soreness. Followed by this, a wave of resistance phase begins. In this phase, the body undergoes a recovery process and goes to an adaptation, which is nothing but changes in the body that happens as a result of the fitness training that you have completed. The next part of the wave is the new baseline, which is called as supercompensation phase. And this is the phase where you have achieved a new fitness level. During the alarm phase, if you continue with a fitness training without a proper recovery or without a complete adaptation, the body would respond in a very natural way of declining into the fitness level. And if you continue doing so, you would enter into an overtraining phase, which is characterized by drop in your fitness level for a longer period of time, thereby decrease in your performance, not able to improve your fitness level and having the same kind of fitness level for a longer period of time, which is nothing but plateau. This general response body undergoes whenever you do a fitness training, irrespective of your fitness level or irrespective of your ex uh, exercise training experience. And this gas principle was described by Hans Sully, which underpins the fundamental of periodization training. And this gas principle describes the responses not just to any physical stress, but also to any emotional stress. So in summary, principle of acute training variables helps to describe the workout session. It helps to write a weekly exercise prescription, or it helps to write an exercise prescription for your workout bout. GAS principle explains how every body responds to a physical stressor and it explains why recovery is so important and it is as important as give a stimulation if your aim is to improve your fitness level. Thank you.